It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not even about us. It's about legacy. It's about what we choose to leave behind for future generations. And that's why for the next year, and for the first time since 1974, the best and brightest men and women of nations and corporations the world over will pool their resources, share their collective vision to leave behind a brighter future. It's not about us. Therefore, what I'm saying, if I'm saying anything, is welcome back. The work of a single organization, the Syndicate, a rogue nation, trained to do what we do, imbued with a new sense of purpose. The Syndicate, you say? Yes, sir. That's what he calls it. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention for a minute, please? Thank you. Indian, this is Signorina Anna Maria D'Alessandro. Oh. Anna Maria D'Alessandro? What? Anna Maria D'Alessandro. And who are you? Well, I'm Sean Mercer. What are you doing here? Trying to get some sleep. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean, how come, uh... You didn't expect me? I sure didn't. You have been drinking a little, haven't you? No, ma'am. I've been drinking a lot. legalized violence. The rules of the big hunt are quite easy. Rule number one, each member is obliged to undertake ten hunts. Five as a hunter, five as a victim. Rule number two, the hunter shall know all about his victim. Name, address, habits too. Rule number three, the victim shall not be told who his hunter is. I'm going to murder the two of you. I'm sorry, but just who are you? Rule number four. The one 
who comes out alive. After the tenth hunt, he shall receive honor. Don't stop, please keep kissing me. And one million dollars. As a souvenir. <laughs> busy this evening. This evening I'll probably be a dead man. Oh. What happened was true. bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America. the movie that is just as real, just as close. Just as terrifying as being there. Even if one of them survives, what will be left? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. After you stop screaming, you'll start talking about it. Kind of disturbances. The inspector wants to see us. He asked with an air of quiet panic. 
to give us a bollocking. What else? <laughs> you needn't answer quite so hastily, Wilmot. You could think about it. I don't think about it. You're making this wild assumption that we're in trouble. What happens every time he sends for us? We're in trouble. <laughs> it's me, isn't it? Well, that is the line I shall tend to follow if pushed. <laughs> it was him, I shall say. Don't, you'll believe it. He thinks I'm not cut out for this job just because his thighs are bigger than my chest. <laughs> Everybody's thighs are bigger than your chest. <laughs> Doesn't he know the world's changing? There's a new breed of policemen. Slim, well-read, attractive to old sailors. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we get out of these working clothes, you and I, and we'll play some Rachmaninoff together, and I will take you to the limits of human experience. Drop dead, Wilma. <laughs> <laughs> She puts on this great act of not being attracted to me. I think she's getting better at it. <laughs> she gets flustered by the sheer sensuality of me. Yeah, you try too hard. And you will keep going for these spoiled, attractive birds instead of working your way up from something ugly. Superb women are there for the taking. Yeah. I like your spirit, Wilma. Yeah. But I don't know why you waste your time on these attractive birds when you could just go through life being the plaything of WPC Watmuff. I don't go about with WPC Watmuff. <laughs> Sometimes you do. That's a rotten thing to say. Yeah. I... Well, well, well. Elsie and Doris. <laughs> got... Dracula, starring Frank Langella. With Laurence Olivier. I am the last of my kind, descended from a conquering race. But I must warn you to take good care. If at any time my company does not please you, you will have only yourself to blame. Oh, God! Help my poor soul! greatest lover who ever lived, died, and lived again. Factory! Dracula. Mr. Tweedy! Oh. They finally have found a way to make us some real money around here. And what are you on about? Ridiculous notions of escaping chickens. Uh, but, but. It's all in your head, Mr. Tweedy. Say it. It's all in my head. It's all in my head. Now, you keep telling yourself that because I don't want to hear another word about it. Is that clear? Yes, Lord. But you know that ginger one? It's chickens, oh. you dolt. Apart from you, they're the most stupid creatures on this planet. They don't plot, they don't scheme, and they are not organized. Ooh, that's champion, that is. What is it? It's a time machine, you idiot. Chickens go in, pies come out. Ooh, what kind of pies? Apple. My favorite. <laughs> Found them. I hope that's the last of his stuff. Don't you fret. Blimey, sounds like a bailiff's knock. Oh, don't even joke about that. Oh, Rick. Still not fixed that fence, then? Which finishing school did you go to? <laughs> Diane, you get yourself off. I'll sort this out. You need out, you ring me. Really sorry, it was on my list, but we just got a bit behind. Yeah, well, I can't see Archie Ward being so understanding. We've lost three of his cows, and the chances are they're shacked up with your lot. Now, is it all right if I take a look? Yeah, go ahead. Is 
Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. Uh, screw it. What colour do you tag your cows? Yellow, you know that. Well, I was right then, cos I've just found a red one in your herd. Well, that'll be yours. Look, Mick, I'm not being funny, but it was obviously just a simple mistake. It'll have wandered over. Well, that begs the question, where are the other red tags? Cos they're not in the yard. I don't know. Maybe they've bobbed into Hotton for a coffee or something. Um. Sam? I, I just took the nearest thing. <gasps> I don't believe this. You know, I'm really, really trying my best here. We all are, lass. It's as tight for us as it is for you. Archie will go spare when I tell him. Well, then don't tell him. I'll give you the money and you can replace them. All right, let's see it then. You must still have it. You only sold them yesterday. Well, no, actually, I don't. But I'll have it for you tomorrow, I promise. Full market value? Yeah. Lunchtime tomorrow? Yes. I'll be seeing you then. <sighs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Frank is a private detective who specializes in eavesdropping. He's hired by Mr. Mann, who is curious about his wife Pamela's afternoon activities. Frank follows Pamela, and the result is a funny and exciting series of adventures, which include a casual pickup on Sutton Place, being kidnapped by a team of revolutionaries, doing social work with a prostitute, attending a political cocktail party, and finally, the seduction of Frank himself. When Mr. Mann returns home that evening, Frank resigns from the case. No, no, I'm afraid I'm going to have to drop the case immediately. The story takes a surprising and unexpected turn. There aren't any gentlemen left. Thank you. And everyone lives happily ever after. To all the gentlemen. And to all the ladies. The cast. Pamela Mann, Barbara Burpin. Want a good time, sailor? The candidate, Sonny Landham. Good at you. Bailey! Bailey, we are here! Thank <laughs> you. 